Welcome to my first podcast using an incredible program just recently introduced called Descript. I am thrilled to be able to use this medium because I can reach so many more people and help them overcome their present medical condition. I was diagnosed 15 months ago with stage 3 multiple myeloma. I was extremely weak and could not walk without assistance or pushed in a wheelchair. Quite frankly, I thought I was going to die. My disease presented itself as acute kidney failure with as one of the primary signs of multiple myeloma. I spent over a week in the hospital, and thankfully my kidneys responded to treatment and have not returned to normal. However, I will be living with multiple myeloma the rest of my life. Multiple myeloma is an incurable form of cancer of the bone marrow. When I was in my postgraduate classes on pathology, multiple myeloma was a terminal disease with a projected lifespan of 3 minus 5 years undiagnosed. Thankfully, medical science has developed different techniques that will allow the treatment of this disease as a chronic disease which allows a vast majority of patients to live a normal lifespan. This is because of the constant attention to the myeloma levels using new innovative medications to keep the cells of origin not able to worsen the patient's health. Having multiple medications available also help lengthen the times of remission. After 15 months of multiple forms of chemotherapy, 20 episodes of radiation therapy, bone strengthening medications, and targeted antibody intravenous infusions, my disease process is under control. However, at any time the tables can be turned and I will be back on medications to attack the disease. That could be additional chemotherapy plus other newer drugs. My life will be watching various tracking numbers with the knowledge that I may be back to the fight of my life again. I have what some would call an abnormal positive attitude about my disease and my life expectancy. I respond to them by saying none of us have an expiration date written on our foreheads and none of us know how we are going to die. Having a life-challenging disease doesn't change any of that. I will die just like everyone else who could die of heart disease, diabetes, lung, breast, or prostate cancer. So why should I worry about my disease any more than others who live with life-changing illnesses? I choose to spend my time helping others fighting their own battles of this or that disease. I would rather write, speak about, or consoling those with compassion and a positive presence than grieve about my problem which at times is so minor compared to those who suffer from their personal inner pain. That is my purpose and what drives me to look for places where I can be of help. My stamina is very limited and my fatigue and pain levels continue to cause me pause. However, I can write, talk, and do all I can from my home and soon hopefully be able to hear from those reading this who may need to hear a positive message about how the end of treatment can be life enhancing even in spite of the results of serious intervention to save your life. Life itself is a miracle that deserves our thankfulness for each day we are alive. Mathematically, none of us should even be here when you count the almost infinitesimal chance of one egg and one sperm out of millions created you. You are a miracle just like I am a miracle. We should never forget that one fact no matter what comes our way. Use your miracle status to change the world around you. Be positive, be thankful, and be appreciative of each other. Thank you for listening. It is my pleasure to meet you even from a distance. Please send me a note or tell me your story. If so, I may be able to share it with others to help them see the miracle they truly are. I find that one note, one phone call, can come at just the right time to help someone in need. With gratitude that you are listening. Ron. Dr. Ronald Bissell. Bisprinet45 at mail.com or some visited http colon slash slash compassionativosis.com.